Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about my experience shopping for women's clothing, which is something that I really only explored over the past year. If you watch all my videos, or a lot of them, um, I recently came out as being transgender and non-binary, which means that I don't identify as female or male. I consider myself sort of in between or in like a different category altogether. And one of the things that I did over the past year is I wanted to explore my self-expression. I want to make clear, I don't think that any trans person needs to dress a certain way in order to validate their identity. Like I think people's identities are 100% valid no matter what, no matter how they dress, no matter what their body looks like, no matter how they present themselves. So I was doing this because I wanted to, not because I felt like I needed to in order to validate my non-binary identity. And I would encourage all of you all, regardless of what your gender identity is, to think about it in this way. So I wanted to go and I wanted to explore women's clothing because I was raised as male and I've spent my whole life wearing men's clothing. Like it was what was presented to me as sort of the only option. There were a few exceptions when I like tried on one thing or another or bought like one article or something here or there, but I never really exhaustively explored women's clothing. And I had a great deal of internalized fear and shame and just general negativity associated with it. I think some people don't realize how bad it can be for people raised as men, especially people in kind of more traditional environments, like uh, I grew up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which is, it's a somewhat liberal city, but the broader county is extremely conservative, and I think I was heavily influenced by some of that local culture. And I had a lot of people in my life who would talk about the concept of men cross-dressing as being this horrible thing, like I would hear people talk about it like, oh, they, they're perverts. Uh, they're weirdos, like, and people would even associate it with words like pedophiles and things like that. Like, the idea is that the only person who would want to cross that boundary of dress was someone who is, like, uh, somehow, like, deranged and even dangerous to society. And it sounds completely ridiculous, and it is completely ridiculous, but I just wanted to throw that out there to let you know how extreme the rhetoric can be. Um, and then there's also this sort of low-grade shaming of femininity in society. Feminism is very aware of this, but I think most people who are raised as boys or men uh, realize this too. It's like, you know, if you, if you do certain things, like, you can be called gay, and like, that's implied to be a bad thing, which is another ridiculous thing. There's just layers and layers of it. Anyway, I think that this was the kind of environment I grew up in. I mean, it wasn't always extreme like that, but I think that I internalized a lot of these negative views. And come to like last year, I'm like 35 years old last year, and I'm just still terrified to even walk into the women's section to look for clothing for myself. Like, I just have this fear that like people will see me doing it and they'll think all these negative things about me. So. I, I wasn't really ready to do this on my own, so I asked one of my close friends to help me out with this. She's someone who really likes shopping. And before we went, I talked with her about what I wanted, like what kinds of clothing I wanted to explore, and why I wanted to do this, and some of the feelings that I had associated with it. I think that was really important uh, to talk with her ahead of time, so that we both knew what what kind of thoughts were going to come up for me and like what I wanted to get out of the experience. She was super supportive. So the first time we went to Target actually, and it was a little scary, like even just walking into the section, women's section, with the intention of me buying clothes for myself. And I slowly started trying things on, like I remember the first thing I tried on, and it was the, the first article of clothing I ended up buying, was a cardigan from the women's section. And it's interesting because in that moment I started realizing some things about women's clothing that I didn't really know. Uh, I, I had no idea how eye-opening this whole experience was going to be. So I'm trying on this, this cardigan, 
and it, it looks superficially like a men's cardigan. I mean, if you just look at it on the, the hanger, it's just like, okay, what's the big deal? Maybe there's some brighter colors. That was one thing I noticed. They're definitely brighter colors. So I put this thing on, but there are all these really subtle differences about how it fits. Like, it's just like, it makes my shoulders look rounder. Like, it, it's a little more open around the neck, and like, the way it flows behind me is different. Like, and when I walk, if I look at myself in the mirror, like, it tapers in, in a way that even though it's this loose, drapey fabric, it somehow gives an illusion of an hourglass figure. I mean, if you look at me, like, I'm built pretty much straight up and down, I'm skinny, uh, whatever. So, but it, it creates this illusion of this kind of figure. And I tried on more clothing, uh, I went back multiple times, I tried on a lot of clothing, and I started realizing, whoa, the clothing in our society that is segregated into men's and women's has this way of making humans look more sexually dimorphic than we actually are. There's definitely, like, a sexual dimorphism in humans, like, men are more likely to have certain body shape, and women are more likely to have a different body shape. But when you put the clothing on, like, it, it exaggerates that. And I found that I was really shocked at how feminine I looked in terms of my form in certain clothes. Like, there were certain shirts, and I would put them on, and it's like, BAM! Boobs! And I was like, whoa, where did that come from? Um, and similarly, like, with uh, jeans, like, I could put on a pair of jeans, and like, some of them would make my legs look more like curvy. They accentuate the curves of my butt, the curves in my calves and thighs, and I'm like, this is interesting, it was all of this stuff that I wasn't consciously aware of, because I had just been wearing men's clothing my whole life. And I also had this moment that was a little bit terrifying, actually. I was trying on a shirt, and I'm a pretty skinny person, I've always been skinny, there have been times in my life when I have been dangerously thin. And I'm trying on this, this shirt, and I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and the shirt kind of fits, but I'm not feeling like I look great in it, and this thought literally pops in my head. And it's like this bomb that drops. It's just like, the thought is like, hmm, I might look good in this shirt if I lost a little bit of weight. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Like, why did I think that? And it was really weird. And I think that it made me realize that there are all these messages in our culture uh, about beauty, body image, and all these things, and like, I'm, I'm thinking about all this clothing I've been trying on, and like, how it fits. And definitely, like, women's clothing on average is more form-fitting and more revealing of the body than men's clothing. Like, men's clothing has a way of not only covering up the body, but hiding the shape of the body. Um, it also ends up making people look a lot bulkier by sort of having extra space in there. And I, I'm just sitting there reflecting on this thought and like where it came from, and like I ended up reflecting on that thought for hours. Uh, I think it gave me some uh, insights into things like eating disorders, for example. But basically, like, this whole experience of exploring women's clothing, like, it brought up so many things to me. Like, I'm talking about it in this video, I feel like I could talk for hours about this topic. Um, but it was really eye-opening. It completely changed the way I thought about gender in society. Like, it made me realize that a lot of the gender differentiation that we see is kind of an illusion that is created by this social system of segregated clothing, that we wear clothing that, like, emphasizes the differences. And that, that didn't sit with, well with me, and I also felt like I wanted to work against that trend, and, like, it made me kind of more excited than I already was about wearing women's clothing. Um, and I've noticed that you, you can do it in subtle ways, like, this shirt is from the uh, women's section, it's from, like, the junior section. Um, and it changes the way my form looks subtly, like it's more form-fitting, and like my form looks a little bit less masculine when I wear it, but you can't necessarily tell that it's women's clothing, because it's styled like men's clothing. There's a ton of stuff out there in the women's section like that. I now have a bunch of stuff like this in my wardrobe, but like it's, it's so fascinating, and I would really encourage not just like non-binary male-assigned people and trans people 
to explore this. I would incur encourage all people to explore this, like, especially cis men. Like, you might not end up buying any women's clothing, but it's just so eye-opening. And I encourage women, too, like, if you've never shopped in the men's section, like, do it. It is crazy. You'll be like, oh my god, huge pockets! You'll be like, wow, really durable clothing? There are all these things that people don't necessarily know unless they, uh, try switching it up. And I think that there's a lot that we could gain as a society if we all became more consciously aware of these things. I'd love to talk about this more. Like I said, it's just like, there's so much in my mind about this whole experience. There's so much more I haven't even shared with you yet. Um, but I wanted to get this out there and start talking about it, because I'm really excited about it. Please, if you have any questions, if you're like, hey, I want to hear more about this, uh, that's awesome. I'd love to talk more about it. Thank you.